Okay, good afternoon, class. We are going to start now, lah. Huh? Anyone who come in later, I uh, would will allow them to come in, lah. Huh? Okay, we start now. All right. Last week, yeah, uh, we started with chapter three, electromagnetic electromagnetism. Do you remember that? Electromagnetism. Uh, all these people now only come. Okay. Electromagnetism. Okay. Uh, or swimming. Are you there? Yes, sir. For swimming, uh, can you tell me what is electromagnetic? Uh? Electromagnetic is what? What is electromagnetic? It's What's a something? device in which uh -huh. magnetism is produced by an electric current. Yes, correct. The magnetism is produced by electric current. Very good. Huh? Okay. Uh, Next question. How we determine the direction of electromagnetic field? How we determine the direction of electromagnetic field? The electromagnetic field direction, how we determine Ping Yi? Chia Ping Yi? How we determine the direction of electromagnetic field? Right hand grip rule. Yes, right, very good. Use right hand grip rule like this uh, this thumb uh, this thumb follow the current one you know right hand grip rule okay another method is you can use a uh, maxwell screw rule also can like the screw while you tighten the screw huh? okay next question uh, uh, actually this uh, right hand grip rule uh, got two function you know right hand grip through our hand like this one is to show like this up or show down one isn't it the other one our right hand grip rule hold hold the solenoid like this one do you remember not when you hold like this the thumb now point to the north okay this one also right hand grip rule okay this right hand grip rule uh, like this uh, is to determine the magnetic field by one wire only conducting the wire one wire then this hand uh, like this one now uh, right hand grip rule also is used to determine the types of pull north or south pull of the solenoid you remember the solenoid or not one called a wire when the current flow through a solenoid right the whole solenoid will become the electromagnet so one like power magnet you know so when it is like bar magnet, uh, definitely will have north pole, south pole. So we use this one. Uh. Okay. Next question. Uh. This electromagnet, we know, right? When you on current, you have the magnetism. When you switch off the current, there's no more magnetism, right? Okay, now I want to ask this two important question. Uh. How to make this electromagnetism stronger? How to make the electromagnet stronger? How to make it stronger? There are so many methods, you know. Can Ming, can you tell me one? How to make the electromagnet stronger? Can Ming? Aku Can Ming? Are you there? Ah, Jayin, Tan Jayin. How to make the electromagnet stronger? Now ah, there's no answer one. Yuan En, Tan Yuan En. How to make the electromagnet stronger? Ah, Yuan En. But no also, no answer also. Okay. Hanis, do you know or not how to make the electromagnet stronger? Hanis? Ah, Hanis? Ah, Hanis, uh, how to make the electromagnet stronger? Nah? Good no one. Uh. Okay. Now, my, you don't know, lah. Okay, you look at this paper again. I share with you, lah. Huh? Increase the current. Yes, correct. Increase the current. 
One is by increasing the current. Another method is to uh, you can check the answer increase here. Increase the number of turns of wire. Uh, increase the number of turns of wire, not the answer here. First one is increase the current. When you increase the current line, the electromagnetic becomes stronger. The second one is increase the number of turns of wire. Okay, third, third is what? Huh? First is increase the current. Huh? What answer? Number of turns of wire. Yeah, the one mentioned already you increase the number of tons of wire mark here. Huh? Type of the material. Yes, types of material. Okay, can you tell me now what types of material is the best lab can make make, make very strong soft one? Iron type? core. Iron nah? soft, soft, soft iron, iron core. core. Yes, soft iron. We use soft iron. Huh? Soft iron is the best. Huh? Okay, the last one is what? How to make it uh, the electromagnetic stronger? The shape of iron core. Yes, the shape of the iron core. What shape is the best? U. U shape. Yes, correct. No, like here, no? U shape. Well, remember that. Huh? When the soft iron core is U shape, uh, this is the best, you know. Huh? Understand, no? Okay. So, okay. Now we can start our lesson already. Huh? Last week, uh, we, stepped, we stopped somewhere here, right? The application, the uses of electromagnetic. Uh, we stop here. Okay? Tuesday, right? Uses of electromagnetic. This electromagnetic is very useful, right? You on current, you become magnetic. You off the current, no more magnetic. So, first one we use in electric bell. Uh, this one you learned already, right? In electric bell. Some who is coming, I uh, cannot see. I keep wrongly. I, I click remove. Oh, sorry, just now. Yeah, I hope they, they log in again. Uh, sorry, because I click too fast. So I click remove instead of admit. I go and click remove. <laughs> okay, uh, this electric bell we have learned now. Okay, I go very fast. I repeat again this electric bell. How this electric bell use uh, electromagnetic to function? You know, okay, it's like this. When you push this button to on the bell, right? The current from the battery come out. So the current flow here, go down, go here, then turn over this solenoid. So this thing become magnetic. This, sol this solenoid become magnetic. Then the current go up, turn here, then go up. Here also become magnetic. So meaning that now uh, this part become strong magnetic, strong magnetic, right? So it will attract this thing, come over here. This amateur will be attracted over here, attract over here, attract over here. When this thing move over, so you see the hammer. The hammer will immediately uh, knock on the gong to produce a sound. Uh, this is a sound. How to produce sound is like that. This thing become magnetic, attract the amateur to move, then it knock on the gong to produce a sound. Okay, another technical thing you might know is you know, once the amateur move in uh, here now. Uh, the contact here broken already, so the current stop. The current go back from here one, uh, like this is go, connect here, then go back. But when this thing move over, right, the whole amateur move over, this point broken already, so the current stop already, no current. Okay, it's purposely make it no current one, you know. Once no current, uh, this magnet suddenly disappear. So when magnet disappear, right, it cannot attract this already, right, so it will go back. This thing will go back no? Once it go back here, nah, it touches here again. So it touch again no? Then once it touch again, nah, the current can flow. The identity sun become magnetic again. So attract again nah. So the process is repeated many, many times. So attract here, release, attract, release, attract, release. So keep on knocking, go back, knocking, go back to produce a sound. Okay, nah? So meaning that. Here using electromagnetism to function. Understand? Okay, this one we finished already. You know, now we start another one. Okay, this is what we are going to learn tonight. Circuit breaker. What is circuit breaker? Now you see the name. Huh? Circuit breaker means uh, is used to break the circuit when the current is too high. Sometimes uh, 
short circuit can happen now. Uh, when short circuit happen now, uh, the current become too high. So it's very dangerous, you know, the current become too high, uh, fire may break out. So this circuit breaker function is to stop the current, to cut off the current when the current suddenly become too high. Understand? So that is a function of circuit breaker. Okay, how this thing work? Okay, now you all listen properly. I explained one time only, you know, how this thing can use to cut off the current. Okay, it's like this. Huh? Normal current will come in, come in, follow this wire. Okay, you see uh, the current flow here, go to the contact point. This is a contact point, uh, touching one. Then the current cross over, then the current make a few turns in the solenoid to make this thing become magnet. Then before that, the current will go out. Uh. So normal current flow this way, flow in, pass through the contact, go here, go through the solenoid. So make the solenoid become magnet, uh, electromagnet before the current go out. Okay, when the current is normal, normal, right? This electromagnet is not so strong, not so strong. So if this electromagnet produced by normal current, right? So this electromagnet not so strong, lah. So it wouldn't attract anything, nothing happened. So the current will just let go, pass by like that, then go out, okay? Okay, now what happens is when the current suddenly become too high, during short circuit, so what happens is like this, huh? Now, if the current suddenly become too high, right, when it come in, so it will make this magnet become stronger, more current, ma. so this electromagnetic will become too strong. When too strong, uh, now the magnet is too strong already. Uh, now he can attract this thing, you know, this piece of thing, uh, soft iron armature, the whole piece of this thing. Uh, this thing will be attract here. Okay, attract over here. Okay, you see or not? This amateur will be attracted by this electromagnet. Okay, you see now, when this thing is moving here, uh, then this contact point open up already. So this contact point open up. Uh, open up means cut off the current already. So you see now, uh, when this one move in, uh, this one open up. You open up, so the current stop already. Okay, understand now? Uh? So one this thing being attracted to this strong magnet, right? This one move in, this contact point broken. So the, con the connection stop already. So the current stop here, cannot go through, right? So you cut off the current. Nah. Okay, you see what happens is like this, you know, when this one and track here, nah, this whole thing, uh, this thing will go up one, you know, because there's a spring here, nah. this spring will pull this wire go up. So this wire will most probably go up like this. Nah. Okay, this wire will go up. This one will move it here. So the contact broken already. So the current stop, right? Okay, when the current stop already, la, so the technician, la, electrician may come to your house to check. No? So the short circuit place, la, they repair already. After they repair the short circuit, la, so how to make this circuit breaker you can be used again? Uh, you want this thing to go back to the original position to be used again, right? So you just push the reset button, push here. When you push the reset button down, right? Uh, this wire will go back here. Go back here. And here, no more magnet, right? This one also will come back here. Right? So meaning that you push the reset button, this one come down. This one, no magnet already, no current, right? It come out. So they will join up again. Join up again means can be used again, right? Understand? Uh? Uh? Jen Ming, do you understand? Yes. Jen uh? Ming, do you understand? Yes. Yes. Jen, uh? Fazli, do you understand? Boleh, no worries. Boleh, ka? Boleh, ka? Boleh, Tan Chai Liang, do you understand? Tan Chai Liang. Uh? Tan Chai Lian, do you understand? Yeah, uh, yes. Apple Lao, do you understand? Uh, Apple? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. You understand or not? Okay. Yen On, do you understand? Yen On? Yes, sir. Understand or not? Yes, sir. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, come we go through. We go through the not fast, very fast, huh? A circuit breaker which does the same job as a fuse. Highlight this is important, huh? As a fuse, fuse function is to cut off the current. Now you know one, isn't it? Designed to disconnect the power supply when there is too large current flowing through. Understand? This is a function of circuit breaker, huh? When the current get too high, you must ask why current become too high because short circuit happen in some way in your house. So the magnetic field here now, this magnetic field here now, become strong. Pull the soft iron armature and you pull this soft iron armature. Okay? Pull here now. Okay. And release the catch. Uh, release the catch means uh, release the contact now. The contact wind release no more in contact anymore. This side we say release the catch. Okay, so the contact are separated and the current stop. That's it. That's a function of circuit breaker to stop the current. Right. Okay. Next, the spring P. Uh, this side is spring P. This side uh, keep the contact apart uh, because this time we put this wire go up right. We keep them uh, apart now. Uh, won't contact anymore. When the reset button is pressed, uh, you press the reset button here, push down, right? So spring Q, uh, this spring up, you pull this wire to come back here uh, because here no more magnet already, right? When no more current now, uh, no more magnet one, it will go back, okay? So soft iron and measure back to its original position, okay? So this is the second one, uh, circuit breaker. So right now you have learned two already, no? The function of electromagnet, first one you learn is, Electrical bell, last lesson one. Now you, you just learn this circuit breaker, right? Circuit breaker using electromagnet, no here. Electromagnet is some here, okay? Okay, now third one. Third is electromagnetic relay. This is a bit difficult to understand. Okay, electromagnetic relay. Okay, what is that now? Okay, I do something first. Huh? I need to close this thing. Huh? Now later on, someone come and cut out. Disable annotation. And one more. Show name annotator. Those who jump thing, jump thing, when the name can come out here. So can identify. Nah. You remember that line or not? Then I, because I didn't press the button, you know. Okay. Okay, now. Electromagnetic magnetic relay, what is that? Okay, relay means, uh, okay, let me as, uh, explain a little bit first uh, before you, you look at the diagram. Uh. Okay, sorry. Okay, electromagnetic relay means uh, certain place, uh, the switch uh, the power supply is too high. So it's too dangerous to use our hand to turn it on. Very dangerous, you know, because the power supply is very high. Very dangerous for us to use our hand to turn it on. Uh. So this kind of switch, uh, we don't turn it on using our hand. We use some other things to on it, you know. So it's like this, you know. We use a small circuit to turn on the, big, the switch of the bigger current. Uh, this is called electromagnetic relay relay means uh, we pass the job to somebody else we turn on the big current switch uh, using another small current circuit i repeat again uh, we use a small current circuit to turn on the bigger current switch uh, that is called electromagnetic switch electromagnetic relay okay we use small current a circuit small current then this current a uh, small current circuit can use magnetic uh, to turn on a bigger current circuit uh, they want they say we are safe lah. understand we pass the job to somebody else to on the high power supply switch okay all right now you look at the diagram here yeah yeah sorry i forgot to take a picture today Sorry, uh, let me take a picture first. Huh? Okay. 
นี้ how this thing work okay now you see here this is a powerful power supply this is a high current this voltage is very high one high voltage so here this switch uh, we don't turn on we turn on here very dangerous no? because this one is high power circuit okay so instead of using our hand to turn on this high power switch uh, we use a small current circuit uh, you see here this is small current circuit small current one here uh, okay this small current circuit uh, when you on the switch here right when you on here so this small current will flow go into the solenoid you make a few turns right then come back okay when current flow through a solenoid so this solenoid will become electromagnetic right not so when it become electromagnetic so it will attract this piece of iron you see this piece ah huh? soft iron and mature huh? this piece one who piece one okay it will attract here, attract over here. Okay. Okay, now you see now uh, this piece is a metal, you know, one whole piece one. When this side moves in now, uh, attract by this electromagnet. So this side will push up. Correct not? Do you understand? It push up. No? This one go up, go down, attract here. So this side will go up. Do you understand or not? Like something like this. Lah. This one, they are they are one piece one. When this one go in. This side will go up, uh, like that. I show you again now. Uh. When this side go in, this side go up, like that, long. like L shape, right? Like the L shape. This side attractor go in, this side go up. Okay. Understand now, uh, like L shape, right? So this side go down, this side go up. When this side push up, right? Uh, then this contact touching already. So contacted already, lah. Uh. When this thing push up, it will connect the contact. One this one is connected, right? So the high current started to flow. The high current, high power supply started to flow. Lah. Then it completed this high power supply. Understand? Ah? Ah? Tan Chai Lian, do you understand? Ah, Tan Chai Lian. Apple Lao, do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yeah, nah. So very simple, right? Electromagnetic relay. Okay. You see now, the electromagnetic is here. Uh, this thing becomes electromagnetic. When you have a small current go inside, make this sun become electromagnetic. No? Why I make this sun become electromagnetic? Because I want to attract this amateur. Amateur, uh, well, okay. Another thing I want to tell you, uh, when you see the words amateur, right? Amateur means uh, moving part can move one. Any part can move, we call it a mature, right? Okay, so this one move in, this one push up. When this one push up, you push this wire, go up. So the contact touching here. So completed the circuit. So the big current started to flow. Lah. Understand now? Okay, I give you one example. Lah. In our car, to start the car, right? Now this JY now come in. Lah. J Y J in just now was here, then she went out, then now come in again. Okay. To start our car engine, like uh, this one is an engine. Engine using high power supply one. So engine is here. Some of the engine is too far, too far from the, the steering, right? We cannot use our hand go inside the engine to start the engine, but the car engine correct not. Okay, what I want to tell you are uh, this part now, uh, this part is like the switch. When you put your car key inside, you on the switch like that, right? You want to start your car, means you turn on this small current circuit. Now you put your car key inside to start the car, right? Means you start this circuit now. Now you start the car key, right? So you become magnet. Now this magnet will attract this one. Then it will push up to turn on the engine, the electric supply to the engine. Understand? Engine is one example like this, you know, the car engine. Uh. Car engine, we never use our hand going on one because too far, too dangerous. So we use our car key, the switch there. Uh. You start the car on here. So it will turn on the car engine, bigger current engine. Understand? Uh. Okay, now go through here. 
and electromagnetic relay depend on the words uh, relay relay means uh, you pass the job to somebody else it's a switching device used to control switch on and off another powerful circuit understand used to control another powerful circuit okay when the switch is on mean this is not the switch is on small current flow through the solenoid small current flow through here huh? and the soft iron core is magnetized this soft iron core become magnetic is magnetized right so the soft iron armature and uh, this, uh, this piece of metal is soft iron armature okay soft iron armature attracted to the electromagnet okay attracted here so this action make the other end uh, make the other end here push up okay the other end of the soft iron to push and close the contact is i'm push and then close up uh, close up the gap close the contact okay you close the contact lah. understand lah? so when the switch is off uh, you off the switch here no current flow uh, no more current already when no more current no more magnet no magnet is in go back lah. no more magnet cannot attract the redeem it go back lah. no current flow and the iron core loses the magnetism so the soft iron amateur return to the original position lah. and the powerful circuit is open understand lah? okay so far okay or not okay, let me see a little bit first i'll see you all we end okay so far understand or not uh, Rien? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Harry Young, are you there, Harry? Uh, yes, yes. Can I understand, Harry? Uh, I use reference book. La. <laughs> so, my reference book, right? Like, when the switch is open, no current flow in the input circuit. Is it same with your version one? Yes, same. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Selina, do you understand? Ah, uh, Selina. Hi. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes. Understand? Ah. Uh. Uh. Emily, go. Emily, go. Understand? Emily. Ah, uh, this one no sound already. Ah, uh. Emily. Okay. Chan Yan Wu. Okay or not? Chan Yan Wu. Can follow the lesson or not? Chan Yan Wu. No sound. Gonna okay. He type now. He used to type one. He said yes. Okay, good. Okay. Ah, uh, Kevin, Kevin Chi, are you there? Kevin yes, Chi, sir. Understand? Yep. Understand the yep. electromagnetic relay or yes. not? Yes. Yes. Yeah. No eye. No eye. Are you there? Yes, sir. <laughs> Understand or not? No eye. Yeah. Yes. Understand. Okay, can I? Okay, come. Let's okay. move on, uh -huh. Okay, next one, uh -huh. Okay, one more to learn. Ah, uh, this is telephone earpiece. Telephone earpiece, ah. Uh -huh. Now Julian, now he come in. He Julian E. I think he went to Sembayang. Now he come in, ah. Uh -huh. Telephone earpiece. Okay, right. Telephone earpiece uh, means uh, the place uh, when you are talking the phone, right? You put, you use to put near your ear uh, to listen one. Then there are two your more mouthpiece. Okay, uh, look at this diagram here. Look at here. This is a how phone side. Right? This one is mouthpiece. The one use we use to talk one mouthpiece. Here use to listen one. Listen is earpiece. Understand? Earpiece, huh? mouthpiece, you to talk. You to listen one is earpiece. Okay, this diagram show that uh, nobody talk to yourself one or nobody you talk here, then you listen here, right? Very stupid, uh, right? Now, what we are going to do now, uh, when your friend make phone call to you, your friend, your friend uh, this is your friend. Your friend make phone call, he call you, right? Your friend make phone call, then call through the wire 
go to your house, understand? So you listen. Understand now? Uh? This thing you must know first, you know. This diagram actually shows that uh, someone is calling you, your friend from very far. Make a phone call to you. This wire can be very, very long one. Some can use wire, some use handphone. We don't use wire, but use a wave. Use an electromagnetic wave. Okay? Okay? So when your friend talk, so the wire connect it to your house phone, and then you listen here. So we are only concentrate to the part where your friend talk to you, you listen. How the parts are where you use to listen one uh, work, use electromagnetic. Okay? Okay, very simple. You just see this diagram. First thing, uh, this is a microphone. Microphone, uh, your friend talk. Okay? Your friend talk sending the sound wave. This is sound from your friend. Okay, when the sound wave go into the microphone, uh, you make a note say, uh, microphone uh, is to change the sound to current. You see? Change the sound into current. My, I, I want to ask you, uh, microphone job, uh, microphone function is to change the sound into small current. The microphone can generate current one, you know, when you talk through the microphone, uh, the microphone will change the sound to become electric. The sign in your house phone, uh, when no power supply, uh, house phone as you can use, uh, you know, because house phone can generate its own electric. No need electric supply from the Naga National one, the telephone line, no need. Okay. okay, now it's like this. Huh? When your friend is talking here, this microphone will change the sound to become AC current. Actually, this one is AC current. Why AC? Because uh, the sound can go, come back, go, come back. Because when you talk, uh, our sound got loud, soft, got high, got low tone, right? So it's keep changing one. So this current is called, actually, is AC current, not DC, uh. AC current, okay? Alternating current. Alternating current will travel very, very far, a few hundred kilometers from Penang, go to Malacca, reach your house. Okay, now, your earpiece, uh, the one you use to listen one, okay, in your house. Okay, earpiece are got magnet one, you see inside that this is a permanent magnet. Okay? And this is also soft iron. This is permanent magnet. This is soft iron. Okay. So what happens is when this uh, AC current produced from the sound, right? This current, uh, AC current, will flow into your telephone. So we'll turn here. We we'll make this one become magnet. So this thing becomes electromagnet, and the current continue to come down. Make a few turns here. Make this thing to become magnet means uh, this one and this one become electromagnet before the current go back, okay? Okay, now you see now, uh, this electromagnet uh, is not constant one, not constant electromagnet. Or what I mean is uh, this electromagnet is varying electromagnet. Varying means uh, the magnetism uh, is keep changing one. Strong, weak, Strong, weak, strong, and weak. The magnetism keep changing one of varying magnetic field. Why varying? Because this is AC current. AC current, you know, the current go two direction one, go, come back, go, come back like that, isn't it? So it will also make the magnetic here. Nah. A one got magnet, a one no magnet, a one got magnet, a one no magnet. So this varying magnetic field. So this varying magnetic field uh, will vibrate. Uh. The magnetic actually is vibrating, you know, because it's not constant magnetic field. It's a varying magnetic field. The magnetic field keep changing. Uh. So this is a vibrating magnetic field. Vibrating magnetic field uh, will make this diaphragm, uh, this piece of paper, there's a piece of black, black paper diaphragm. Near your earpiece, uh, there's a piece of black color paper one. Uh, this is diaphragm. This diaphragm will vibrate. Because this magnetic field vibrating, uh, it will make this uh, diaphragm to vibrate. Uh. So when a diaphragm vibrate, it will cause the sound molecule, the A molecule here to compress, reflect, compress, reflect. 
get compression. This is compression. Nah. The A molecule compress. This one, the A molecule open up. Refraction R. This one is refract. Compression. Refraction. Okay. Actually, you should know already. Lah. Vibration produces sound. Correct not? That's why you have sound wave come out. That's why you can hear what your friend talk. Okay. Understand? Lah? This is how telephone telephone earpiece work and I'll use electromagnet. But remember, no, this electromagnet is not constant one, it's varying magnetic field. Why varying? Varying means keep changing one, the magnitude. Strong weight, strong weight keep changing. Very simple, keep magnetic keep changing it because this is changing current, alternating current. It's not direct current, okay? They yeah. are? Understand? How this uh, telephone earpiece work? Okay, now you can read here. When a person speak through a telephone mouthpiece, here, yeah, okay, your friend speak through the microphone mouthpiece, okay, sound energy change to varying electric current, AC current, nah. Nah, the sound change to AC current, nah. then the cable send the current here, lo. Uh, actually, this current is not normal current. No. It's a current carry the sound information. Okay, what you talk, right? you talk, the words you speak, right? you change to current. This current carry the sound information. Okay, send to your house, your friend's house. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. When the wearing electric current, when this wearing electric current flow through the soft iron here, these two soft iron now, uh, the soft iron core is magnetized. This one become magnet. Okay, wait. What well, is it? Varying strength. A varying strength means that the strength of a wall becomes strong. A wall weak. A wall strong. A wall weak. Now varying strength. Why varying? Because this is varying magnetic field. So electromagnet pull on the diaphragm. Uh, this piece of paper is diaphragm. Ah, uh, vibrate. Okay, pull on the diaphragm. The diaphragm vibrate with the same frequency as the varying current. Then vibration produces sound. Okay, then you can hear what your friend talking to you. Understand? Ah, huh? okay. Ah, huh? so this is telephone earpiece. Also using the concept electromagnet. Understand already? Ah, huh? huh? Okay, so four things you learned already now. You just think uh, in the exam, they can give a diagram, ask you to write an essay one, any one. Okay, circuit breaker, la, electromagnetic relay, la, telephone earpiece, or this electrical bell. Simply just give you one question, they can ask you to write the working principle, how the thing work. Okay, you must read clarity, you must learn how to write, how to explain the thing work. Okay. Okay, so far okay or not? Che, uh, che, okay or not? Che, are you there? Uh, I'm here. You understand? Can. Can, uh, no, are you there? No, understand or not? Understand. Understand, uh? Uncle Yin, are you there? Uncle Yin, understand? Understand. Understand, huh? Okay. Angel, Angel Tam, do you understand? I oh, see your name yes, there, Angel. Sir. Understand, huh? Yes. I think you don't know what is flying in front of me. Jeff, Jeff just came in, you know. Jeff, do you understand? Huh? Jeff, Julian, you just came in one. Can I understand or not? Julian. Huh? Can I? Okay. Type only, okay. Liao, do you understand? Liao? Yes. And I? Uh, Chok, do you understand? Chok, I saw your name here. Chok? Yes. Understand now? Uh, where are you? Where are you? See? Okay. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Yes, very soft. Huh? <laughs> Okay. Ang Ang Xiao Hui, are you there? Understand, Ang Xiao Hui? Yes, sir. 
เหนือแค่ไหนอ๋อไรเคเบียฟินิชที่เลสันวันเนาะ now we have a lot of question to answer we have the question paper with you in front of you อ่ะโอเค let's look at the question paper ละฮะโอเค last night โอเคเอ่อ because our last lesson that someone asked about this question you know question number four because after the lesson finished ah uh, I saw he he type type in the chat there I I didn't see you know after finish the lesson only I saw he asked this question why this question the answer is T the P does not deflect Q deflect to the, okay now I explain ah uh. Chan Yen Wu Chan Yen Wu are you there Ah, Chan Yen Wu ah No, he told me his uh, house internet very slow. He cannot. He don't want to talk. He talk. No, here. Okay, now my legs. Okay, I think he's there, lah. Huh? Okay. Look at this question, ah. Uh. This one is a compass. This one another compass, right? A few students ask this question, you know, after finish the lesson. Some they send WhatsApp to me. Pong, I think Pong another one ask me. Okay. The current flow from the positive, right? The current go here, go here, right? So the current flow this way. Ah, uh, this compass, ah, uh, pointer. Okay, now you must know. Now use your right hand grip rule. Your right hand grip rule. You holding the wire, then like that, holding the wire. You see, ah, uh? like that. This why this thumb point follow the direction of current. Uh, this current going going to X ma. Uh, so use your right hand. You imagine ma, uh, your hand ma. Uh, use your right hand ma. Uh, you hold this wire. Based on your okay, I explain and you listen. Imagine use your right hand to hold this piece of wire where the thumb must point here. The thumb follow this direction of current. Then you notice that uh, your other fingers are. Uh, you look at your hand. No, you see like that. No, I have to turn it. Yeah. Here, fingers here is ah uh, follow this direction. Your all your finger follow this direction. Correct, not? When you hold the wire. That's why the direction of magnetic field up here is. Follow this direction. Your right hand grip root. Who you are? At the bottom is this direction. Bottom of the compass is this. On top is this direction. That's why when magnetic field is toward this direction, now uh, this pointer will deflect. Lah, uh, deflect. Follow this direction. Understand? Deflect here. Okay. Then this wire pull up. Ah, uh, then now you imagine use your hand now. Uh, Hold this wire with your thumb. The thumb must point this direction, point to the current. Your thumb is like that now. Yeah. Remember, you now you hold the wire. Then you see your other fingers. Yeah. Your other fingers, you see now. The fingers will go this direction, correct? Not. Then when your hand holding here, use your right hand. Thumb point here. Your other fingers will point up. Point up means follow this direction now. So the magnetic field is this direction, no? Okay, now you see that the magnetic field is parallel to the pointer. When parallel means ah uh, no deflection, you won't deflect the pointer because parallel ma uh, like this one is not parallel, no point here, but magnetic field here. So you push them, push the pointer here lah. Uh. So here no deflection because parallel. So here no deflection. Here deflect to the east. Tanwei Yi now coming ah huh? yeah she told me she will be late one Tanwei Yi okay now look at question number seven now I use a lot of diagram to explain to you you look at question number seven ah huh? then number seven here what will happen to the rod this rod okay two pieces of rod when the switch is closed okay now you see carefully I I draw the diagram very clear already. When current flow here, it flow, it go up, it keep on turning, right? Then come down, turn here, then it come back, right? Not. Then you see your hand is like that. Now use right hand grip rule. Ah, uh, this is the second right hand grip rule. You know, this is a solenoid. 
Solenoid now use your hand now. Right hand, you know. You hold this solenoid and then you hold it. How you put your hand like that, you must make sure your this fingers are here, follow the current direction. So the current is going up. So your hand must be like that. You hold it, hold here, hold it here, so that your thumb, your fingers are follow this direction, follow this current direction. Then when you hold it this way, like hold it here, your hand is like that, right? Then your thumb point to this side. So your thumb is pointing to the north. So remember that this right hand grip rule show the types of two one. Your thumb is point to the north. When you hold it this way, this part, your hand hold it here. Why hold like that? Because current go up, go up. So you follow that. This go up, go up, go up. Ma. So this thumb point here, point here. So here is north. When here is north already, this one automatically becomes south. No need check one. Okay. Then on this side, this side, uh, now the current come down, come down, come down. So now your hand, you have to hold this way already. Uh. So your hand, uh, hold this solenoid like this. Why like this? Because uh, this finger now go down, go down, go down, right? Now, uh, because current go down, uh, so your finger must like that. Uh, understand? Follow this one. Uh, then your thumb point here. Uh, so here is north, here is south. Understand? Hey, class, uh, you make sure you know this right hand grip rule, this hand, uh, how to hold the solenoid like this or like this. You must know, you know. Okay? You study these two diagrams carefully. This side, your hand holding like that. This side, your hand holding like that. So you now you realize this is north, this is south, this is south, this is north. Okay? Now, south and south, what happened next? South and south, they will push out, so they will rebel. Lah. They say the answer is B. E and Q rebel each other. Understand? Yeah? All right. Number eight. Another th I'll give you another diagram you see carefully. Okay? Because show two iron nails, got two iron nails, this is a solenoid. Okay? You must know the current flow like this. Now, this is positive, right? Current go up. Go behind, turn in front, go behind, turn, keep on turning, 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 then go back, right? So direction flow in, the current flow in this direction. Now your right hand grip rule. Now your whole hand uh, must hold this solenoid. So you hold like that. Okay? Imagine uh, like this. Uh, this is a solenoid, so your hand is holding like that. Understand? You hold like this, you know. Okay? Your thumb point up, a uh, thumb not point up. You must make sure you have this finger here. Huh? Uh, here. All this finger follow the direction of the current. This is a solenoid. Right? So your fingers are following the direction of current. Understand? Can you hold it? Hold, okay? hold this thing. Huh? So you must hold such a way like that. So your finger here go this direction. Follow here, correct not? Wait, understand? Huh? Okay, like that. Then now this time you notice your thumb point up. Point up means north. Lah. So here is north. Lah. So now north, lah, the whole whole thing here becomes north, one, you know. So meaning that lah, north, north here becomes south. Then the two iron nail, lah, both iron nail also become north. Because the whole side here is north, ma, right? Everything north. Lah. So this one becomes north. This one also become north, north, right? So north and north, so the two iron nail will rebel. So the answer is E, rebel each other. Understand? I go very slow already. Huh? Make sure you understand all. Okay? If I'm a bit too far, you cannot follow. Never mind. Later on, you see the video again. You can pause. Then you can copy the diagram. Huh? Okay, number nine. Which of the following you should determine the direction of electromagnetic field by current show in a straight wire, straight conductor? So use right hand grip rule. Can no argue, huh? Right hand grip rule. Right hand grip rule use for wire. This wire, right? Wire conducting current. So you hold the wire like that. Then your thumb follow current. Then right hand grip rule also use for solenoid. Solenoid is like this, no? 
if the routing is wire, the wire is routing here, so you go like that. Okay, or like this, right? The thumb, thumb point to north. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay, next question number 10. I'll move here. Read the question number 10. Which of the following pair of material and number of tons of wire suitable to make strong electromagnet? Okay, this question now refer to this diagram. Come, I show you. There's one experiment we discussed already, right? Uh -huh, this one. Here. Okay. We, we use a solenoid to make this one become magnet, right? To attract this iron nail, right? Not? So now they ask uh, how to make this electromagnet stronger, they want. Okay. Other questions like that, nah? Okay, now go back to the question. Okay, now, the core must use soft iron. Number of turns must be more turns. Uh, choose the highest turn of 500. The core, core means this piece of thing, nah? Use soft iron. Okay, now, I want to ask question, nah? Why use soft iron, nah? Liao? Ang Ang Xiao Hui, why we use soft iron? Soft iron. Last lesson we learned one. Why we use soft iron as a core? Uh, Ang. Soft Ang, iron core has the strongest magnetic field. Yeah, he, iron soft iron can produce strong, stronger magnetic field lah. There's one. There's another better reason, you know, because soft iron na easy to magnetize and easy to demagnetize. Do you remember that or not? It becomes very strong magnet. This is correct. Huh? And the one is soft iron easy to control. It can easily magnetize and easily demagnetize. Huh? Okay. And the reason you choose more turn. When you have more turns, mean the magnet becomes stronger. Correct not? Okay. Huh? okay 11. Which two materials are most likely to be used as a core? And the coil, uh, coil and coil. Okay, coil is here. Uh, uh, this is a coil, the solenoid coil. Uh, this is coil. Coil, coil is a piece of thing that you put it inside. Uh, this is a piece of iron, uh, soft iron, you put it inside as a coil. Hey, make sure you know uh, this piece of iron is coil. This wire routing here, this is coin okay so coin use copper wire copper wire is a best la low resistant granite and this core the best is soft iron no soft iron so we choose iron no right okay the nearest is iron okay okay number 12 i don't want to show answer you tell me first oh you see you already Okay. Yeah. Figure shows the arrangement to find the most suitable metal rod. Uh, you want to find metal rod here to make this one become electromagnet to attract the paper clip, uh, small iron nail to attract here, right? One make this one become magnet to attract the paper clip. Okay, now the question. The following table shows the number of paper clip held when the currents are switched on and switched off. Okay. Uh, now, when you on the current, when you off the current, okay, now the answer is B. Why? Why the answer is B there? When you on the current now, the number of paper clip attracted must be more. The more paper clip attracted means that uh, this electron is strong. That's what you want, isn't it? You on current, this one become very strong, attract a lot of paper clip. Uh, you have more. Lah. The other two very small. So you must choose either 40 or 38, right? Then when switch off, you off the current. You off the current now. Uh, the magnetism is supposed to be disappeared, right? You know, they want this good one, uh, no more magnet. No more magnet means that uh, it shouldn't attract any more paper clip. So the best is this one. You on current, there's a lot of paper clip attractor. 
when you're off the current, only so few paper clip and cutter are this is a good electromagnet. A good electromagnet should be when you on current, the magnet is strong. When you off the current, the magnet become very weak. Uh, that is what you want, you know. So the best answer is B. La. Understand that? Some of you say it's 35, no. When you on current, more paper keep my track, the magnet strong. When you off the current, la, the magnet should be very weak. No current, no magnet one. So it should be less paper clip attractor so the answer b yeah right okay 13. because shows arrangement or apparatus to build permanent magnet you know already permanent magnet use steel right not yeah i want to ask someone now huh? last lesson we learned right for permanent magnet uh, why we choose steel huh tan wei xiang tan wei yi are you there tan wei yi why to make permanent magnet we use steel? Tanwayi? Tanwayi, are you there? Na? No, there, okay. Yen on, Tan Yen on. Yen on, are you there? Na? So, no sound already. Chiu, Chiu Kai Yi, Chiu Kai Chi. To make permanent magnet, why we choose steel? Chiu, Chiu Kai Chi. Huh? Because steel. Huh? What is the answer? Okay, because steel. Uh, uh, yeah. Hardly uh, magnetized. Permanent are uh, still hardly magnetized and demagnetized, meaning meaning that uh, the steel cannot be cannot be demagnetized, correct? Not so it become permanent magnet la. Cannot be demagnetized means it become permanent magnet. Okay. Soft iron na uh, soft iron easy to become magnet, also easy to demagnetize. So soft iron is very good to make. Temporary magnet, remember or not? Temporary magnet. To make permanent magnet, we use steel. Okay, steel now. Huh? Okay. Next question. Which of the following most suitable for the answer steel lah? Huh? All right. Number fourteen. Figure show three different types of shape of electromagnet P, Q, R. The strength of electromagnet in ascending order. Ascending order means from weak to strong. Okay. Strict line, strict soft iron core, the magnet is not strong one. So this is the weakest. The second one is U-shape. Uh, U-shape is strong, you know, strong. So it's number two. And this one is U-shape. You plus another steel plate here. Ah, this one becomes even better. Okay. So this is a stronger electromagnet. Okay. Let me tell you why this one is the strongest, even stronger than this, you know. Last, last week we said U shape very strong, isn't it? Of course, U shape stronger than the straight line. Nah. This one number two. Then number three is U plus a steel blade here. You put a piece of steel here. Uh, this piece of steel uh, will focus the magnet here. The magnetic field even, this piece of thing help to concentrate the magnetic field. When you have something to concentrate the magnetic field, right? It can make the magnetic field even stronger than this. So ascending order is number one, number two, number three. Huh? Okay, huh? okay, number fifteen. Number fifteen. This one is electromagnet. Huh? You see that huh? this is a battery. When you on current, this iron new become magnet, right? Not? Okay. Which factor does not influence the strength of electromagnet? It does not influence the strength. So the answer is material use for insulator. Insulator means uh, the material to cover the wire is rubber, lah, rubber, right? So this nothing to do. Lah. Material use for the wire, of course. Number of turns, yes. Current flow, yes. Okay. 
Okay, number 16. Not use principal electromagnet. Which one not using principal electromagnet? Not using electromagnet. So which one not using? Huh? The answer is few. Okay, few are. Huh? very funny to move here and there. Okay, few not using electromagnetic one. Few spins are when the current flow it become hot, hot it melt, melt it cut off the current. Okay, electric bell using electromagnet, circuit breaker of night, telephone earpiece. Yes. Okay, number 17. Now because shows a rectangle coin a wire W X Y Z. Okay. So first, recognize the current, uh, the current flow here, go up, can and come back, correct or not? Okay, what will happen to the pointer or compass, this compass, when the switch S is closed on the switch? Okay, the answer is deflect to the east or east is here, lah. deflect to here. Why? You see, use your hand, your right hand grip rule. Your right hand grip rule, you hold this wire like that. You put your wire inside here, your thumb go up, why thumb go up? Follow the current, current direction. So you look at your other fingers, right? Your other fingers all go this way. So it will push the pointer here, lah. Okay, follow this direction, ma. Because magnetic field direction is here, right? Here. Okay. This one is on, on top. At the bottom of compass, the direction is here, right? You make one turn, one, you know, the magnetic field. Okay. On top is go there. Bottom is go here. Okay. So the answer is deflect to the east. East is here. Huh? Okay, understand? Next. Give the reason for your answer. Why? Why go here? The answer is the magnetic field is in anti-clockwise direction. Like this is anti-clockwise direction. Huh? Huh? It's the opposite of the clock. Your clock moves this direction, right? Opposite direction, right? anti-clockwise direction because the magnetic field is in anti-clockwise direction that's why you push the pointer to the east okay and here come in again this and here go out come in go out come in okay i know like your at home is like that one now uh, but make sure that uh, if you not fully follow here online right you must uh, take some time going Go and see the video to understand it. Understand? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Give two method to deflect the pointer compass in opposite direction. Uh, just now the pointer point to east. Now you want it to valid point to the west. So how to make the pointer deflect to opposite direction? Okay. Yes. Yeah, first is you to valid the battery. Valid the battery, the direction of current different already, ma, right? So with this pointer will deflect opposite direction, ma. Okay, ah. So answer is reverse the terminal of the battery. First answer. Okay, reverse the terminal of the battery. When you reverse the terminal of battery, the pointer also direction also will be valid. Another reason. Another method to make this pointer point to opposite direction is. You put this compass uh, under the wire. Because when you put compass on top wire, it follow this direction. When you put this compass under the wire, uh, it will follow this direction. So the pointer with the ballet, understand? So this is on top. This one is at the bottom. You put compass on top, so it follow this direction. You put compass under the wire, it will follow this direction. Understand? So the balance, lah. Okay, ah. So the answer, ah. Yeah. We was a terminal of battery one. The other one is place a compass under the wire W Z. Put it under the wire W Z. Understand, ah? Okay. So far, okay or not? Nobody answer anything. Ah, I don't know whether you're asleep because you never show face. Huh? 
doctor, I don't know whether you are there or not there, you are sleeping or what, I don't know. Huh? But I believe uh, most of you are good students. Uh, huh? Okay. All right. Next. Next is here. Uh, read the question. Uh. Figure shows a U-shaped iron wound with insulated copper wire to build electromagnet. Okay, the diagram is here. Yeah. Uh, very complicated. This is a wire sending the current. Uh, you see the direction of current is like that. It keep turning, 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 right? Use your right hand grip rule, you kai chi. Okay, good. Now you show your face. So good. And then you will hire you. Then come over. You bring a few turns. So you see now direction of current is like that. Over here is like this, right? Then you go back. You see the two diagram, how I put my hand. You go, you are going to start here, huh? Right hand grip rule. Wait, make sure you understand, you know. Not referring to this wire, this coil. Referring to this coil, your hand supposed to be like that. Your right hand grip rule must hold this solenoid like this, huh? You put the solenoid inside your hand. So you hold it this way. Okay, follow this direction. All your finger follow this direction, not here, like that. Okay, and then your thumb point up. And then the sign up is north, so north is here. Here is south. It's north, this south. Follow this hand, understand? Huh? And then on this side, now the current flow this way. So your hand must be like that already. Remember, use your right hand. Right hand grip rule. Don't use left hand. Right hand. So now your hand must hold this solenoid like that. You have to violate your hand uh, like that. Uh -huh. Then your finger must follow this direction. Uh, so it must be like that. Uh. Okay. Your, point, your thumb point down already now. Point down, so here is north. Point down is north. Uh, so here is north. Here is south. Okay. Make sure you copy down these two diagrams. You must know how to use your hand to determine, you know. Why this is not, why this is south, why here is not, why here is south. Now, this one change to P and Q, huh? Okay. Not K, K, M, I change to P and Q here. Okay. Take your time to understand the diagram. Okay, now, what is most suitable to use at the core soft iron? Huh? Soft iron, huh? this piece of thing use soft iron. Why soft iron? Because soft iron can produce strongest electromagnet is one and then one is easy to magnetize easy to demagnetize okay must be easy to demagnetize you know, because this kind of thing must be easily on and off one okay then we can use again when the switch is closed when you're on the switch huh? name the types of pole p here is south q here is north huh? so south north huh? This one change to P, Q, okay? All right, next. If three method to increase the strength of electromagnet, three method to make this electromagnet stronger, okay? Ah, you see the answer yourself. First, increase the current, okay? You make the current bigger, automatically magnet stronger, right? Second, Use soft iron core. A soft iron can produce strongest magnetic field. Here is not using soft iron. You never say, you know, you say core only. You never say what material. That's why you can say use soft iron. Okay. And the last, increase the number of tons of solenoid. Increase the number of tons of solenoid. Nah? Okay. Number of tons means that you make it more tons here, more tons. Here also more tons. When you have more tons here, and here it becomes stronger. Okay. Increase the number of tons. Huh? Okay. Check. Someone type they don't know what. Can you type yes? Okay. Selena. Okay or not? Understand? Yes, yes. Ah, okay, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Kelvin, Kelvin Chi, understand? Yes, sir. Then, uh, Lim Maria, understand? Lim Maria. Yes, sir. Lim Maria, actually, uh, 
You are from which school, Anna? Uh, teacher, I'm Maria Lim. Yana, you're from? Uh, right now, I'm in class 5 science 3. Oh, okay, Before okay. 4 science 2. <laughs> okay, okay, it's okay, lah, huh? Uh, Wen Kang, okay, understand? Uh, Wen Kang, so, so can like that one. Apple Lao, do you understand? Yes, yeah, uh, teacher. Apple? Okay, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Tan Yuan Un? Tan Yuan Un? Tan Yuan no more day, huh? Disappeared already. Tan Ke Yin? Uh, Tan Ke Yin, understand? Understand. <laughs> okay, good, huh? Where is uh, Emily? Go. Where are you? Uh, Emily? Yes. Uh, understand? Uh? Can Ming? Who can Ming understand? Yes. Yeah. Where is this? Uh, who are? Uh? Adro, do you understand Adro? Yeah. And ah, uh, Chiu Tong, okay, Chiu Tong, understand? Understand. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, come, we come back lah, huh? Mo Ai, understand all? Yes, sir. Okay, good. Alisa, do you understand Alisa? Lisa no sound. Hmm? Okay, come, we move on. Uh, huh? Okay, question 18. Study the question. Uh, huh? Figure shows four compasses. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four compasses. Huh? Place on a horizontal piece of thick cardboard. This is a piece of cardboard. A thick wire pass through the hole in the center when current not flow. When no current, huh? the pointer point to north. Uh, point here. Like this, are all point to north. Lah. When no current, all point to north. Okay. Throw an arrow in each of the circuit. Show the direction of needle when current flow downward direction. Okay, downward direction. Downward means our current flow down from top of the paper. It flow into the paper, then come out. Understand? It's called flow downward. Okay, downward. Uh, so the wire carry current from top go inside the paper, then it come out here. Okay, so this is direction of current. Okay, now last week we already learned why right? when you have wire carry current, so definitely there will be a circle produce a magnetic field, right? Circle like that. But you don't know what direction, you know. It's follow clockwise direction or anti-clockwise, you have to use right hand grip rule, this hand. Okay, to determine. Okay. Why the hand is like that? Why the thumb point down? Yeah, because follow the current, ma. Current go down, isn't it? So your thumb point down, your right hand. You hold the wire. Huh? Your hand is like that. Okay. Go down, huh? Then when you look at your hand, ma, huh? Point down like this, right? So your other fingers are uh, turn this direction. So it's in clockwise direction. Okay. So your thumb point down, your finger turn this direction, correct not? So it's anti-clockwise. You look at your hand, it's turn like that, isn't it? So it's like a clock, clockwise direction. So the pointer will follow this one, this one, this one, this one, nah? clockwise direction. Nah? This one, the answer is here, no? Clockwise direction. Okay. 
So the four compass pointer point here, 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 here. Okay. And this one is not a dot, no, this one chain to X. Why chain to X? Because when a current goes into the paper, it's X. Last week you learned right? Current flow into the paper is X. When current come out from the paper, then only a dot. Understand? Into paper is X. Come out is a dot. This is into the paper, so you put X. Lah. Understand? Huh? Next one. Next one is solenoid. Same concept. Lah. So you first draw the current, go up, you keep turn right, then come back. So your hand, okay? See, this time I, I give you all diagram already. You see the diagram carefully. Your hand is like that. Your whole hand are uh, holding this solenoid. Oh, why hold? Because you follow the current, go up, go up, go up, go up. So follow this. Uh, maybe your finger direction go up, isn't it? So you follow the current, uh, the current go up, right? So your, your hand also like that. Then your thumb point to this side. So this side become north. Here is north. So here is south, uh, here is north, here is south. So remember, uh, this right hand grip rule, uh, the thumb not follow current, you know. This thumb is to determine the direction of magnetic pole, north or south for solenoid. For solenoid, you hold your hand like that, hold the solenoid. So the thumb pointing to the north, okay? Yeah. Okay, so north, so P is north, lah. Q is south, so the answer, okay? When you put the pointer here, nah, north, the pointer is go out because the magnetic field go out from the north, coming to the south. South, it go in. Okay? North, it come out. South, go in. Understand? Okay, this question settled already. Okay, next. Because show you electric bell. This is electric bell here. Learn night. Current flow, go to some magnet, magnet, attract this. So you knock on the gong to produce a sound, right? Okay. Now the question. When the switch is closed, you on the switch. Close means you on the switch, huh? What happened to the iron core? So iron core is magnetized, no? become magnet. So it's magnetized because got current go inside, so it become magnet. So magnetized. Okay. Types of pole. Okay. Types of pole here. Why is sound? Use your hand now. Nah. I, I didn't draw the diagram or the design. Here is sound, mean here is north now. Nah. So your hand is like that. Okay. Hold the solenoid. Okay. The point here is north, so here is south. Huh? Because the current go up, huh? so your other finger must follow, huh? go up. Okay. Yeah, it's south. Okay, next question. What is the function of the contact? What is the function of the spring? You see the diagram on the contact and the spring function is what? Contact is here. Spring is here. What is the function of the contact? What is the function of the spring? Okay, the function of the contact uh, is to connect and disconnect the circuit. It can connect. When the amateur is here, it connected. Connect the circuit now, right? When this one becomes magnetic, attract the amateur, so it disconnect, disconnect the circuit. Connect, disconnect, correct not? And this spring function is to pull this amateur come back, come back here, come back to the original position now. Nah. When this thing become magnetic, we attract this thing come here. After no current, then this spring will pull the amateur now, nah, go back, so that it touch again here nah. okay, ah. So the answer, okay, you can see yourself the answer. Contact, to connect and disconnect the circuit. To connect and also disconnect. And the spring, to return the amateur to the original position. To return the amateur, go back to the original position. Nah. Yeah. And the last one, three method to increase the loudness of the bell, to make the bell louder. Louder means you knock harder, right? Okay. So increase the current. Increase current, magnetic field stronger, so it will knock harder. Okay. 
use soft iron core. Uh, use soft iron to produce stronger magnet. Nah. You are here is iron only, never say soft iron. So you change it to soft iron. So the magnet becomes stronger. Okay. And the last, increase the number of tons of solid, more tons. Nah. More number of tons say, ah, tan we now come in. Okay. Increase the number of tons. Okay. And the last one. Last question, okay. Uh, before I show you the answer, like you read the question first and say, draw a connection wire, draw a wire in the figure to make the bell produce sound not continuously. The sound will not continuously one or it will knock one time and then it stop. Okay, understand the question now. Okay, I want to tell you it's here. Huh? So meaning that you make this hammer la, only hit the gong one time only. One time so tong one time no, then stop already no? never continue ma. It's supposed to be tong go out, tong again, tong, 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 very fast one, isn't it? But now we want to make it connect uh, this one one time only. Okay, how? You need to do something on here, you know, add a wire so that uh, this hammer hit one time, then if you stop there, you will never come back. Never go back means you will never knock second time, isn't it? So how to make the hammer only hit one time, then it stop here? Very easy. Now you, you make this one become permanent ma uh, magnet. Because when this thing is magnet, always they uh, will attract the amateur, uh, it stick here long time, no? Stick here, never go back. No? Never go back means uh, you hit one time only. So how to make this uh, magnet uh, stay here so that it will keep attract the amateur. The amateur will stick here. Stick here means uh, hit one time only. So the ring will not continue. You hit one time only, one time tong, one time only. Okay. So how? Okay. Answer. I see now. You add one extra wire here. This is an amateur. This is a hammer, not the gong, right? You add a wire here. When you have a wire here now, meaning that uh, this contact will never disconnect. Never disconnect means the current keep flowing now. So this thing here will become always become magnet. Always be magnet lock. So when this one is always magnet, right? So you, this thing will always stick here. Lah. Because the current keep flowing. Ma. When current can continue to flow, right? Even though this one attracted here, current can continue to flow, means this one, the magnet, remains there. So this amateur will stick here. So it will not one time really. Never go back and come here again. So by doing this, uh, you can make this bell sound not continuously. So you add a wire here. Okay. Near the amateur, add one extra wire to the screw here. Uh. Add one extra wire. Conduct the current. Uh. You never disconnect the circuit. Understand? Okay. okay. One more question to go along there. Can we, I can let you go right here. Uh. So far, okay. Uh. Yeah. Tang Ming Yi, okay or not? Okay. Chan Chan Ching Yi, okay? Ah. Chan Ching Yi, ah. Okay. Yeah. Ang Xiao Kui, okay, understand or not? Ang Xiao Kui? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, okay. Okay, la. Uh, I think another 10 minutes, uh, huh? 10 minutes left, finish, finish up one more question, uh, huh? Okay, come, we move on. Okay, this question, uh, diagram AP show wire coil connected to M meter and DC power supply, okay, come. Look at this diagram. Let me explain a little bit the diagram to you first. Lah, huh? You don't see the answer, you see the diagram. 
Okay, look at the diagram here. Huh? Okay, uh, this is a cardboard. So you have a wire, not this DC power supply. So the current will flow, make a few turns, right? Then it come back. So this is an ammeter to measure the current. Okay, we already know that when current, when current flow through the paper, right? When you put this iron powder, iron filling, uh, so the iron filling, iron powder, right? Will arrange themselves in circular shape to form the magnetic field, correct or not? So now you notice, uh, this one only one coin, two coin, two coin or wire only. Less than now. Uh, so you can see uh, the magnetic field is not that many, you know. Circular shape uh, is very few circle. Next diagram we see now. Uh, this time when you have more tons of wire, you see more wire here. Then you can also notice that uh, the iron filling here now uh, form the circle, uh, more circle, more circular shape. And then this magnetic field, you can see uh, the circles are very compact, very close. The current, same, you know, same current, you see here. And here the pointer point to same current. Current, uh, the current supply same or not. Then how come here uh, more magnetic field, more circle to, to show that the magnetic field actually is stronger. Here, less circle means uh, the magnetic field is not that strong. Why? Of course, it's because of number of turns. Uh. Here, less turns, right? Less turn, the magnetic field not so strong. Here, when you have more turns, right, so the magnetic field stronger, so you have more circle here. Even though the power supply is same, no. Understand? So that is the whole question is like this, lah. you understand why already, right? So now we look at the question. Okay, first question, now. Nah, what is meant by magnetic field? So magnetic field is what? Lesson one, you learn, I see the answer. Magnetic field is what? Is a region where a ferromagnetic material experiences the force. Is a region uh, where a magnetic material, uh, ferromagnetic material, mean material can be attracted by magnet, will experience a force. This force is attract, force of attraction, uh, attract by the magnet, right? Is a region where ferromagnetic material experiences a force. Uh, Okay, now question B. Use or diagram the two diagram. Uh, compare the number of turns. You know which one more turn, which one less turn, right? Then compare the patterns of iron filling. The pattern, which one got more circle, which one less circle, right? And also compare the angle of deflection of the ammeter. The ammeter I told you just now. The ammeter same current, isn't it? Uh, so the answer here. Now you can copy. Huh? First, when you compare the number of turns, so you say number of turns of coin in diagram B more than diagram A. Okay? This one more turn, this one less turn, correct? Not? No, you see? This one more turns, huh? this one less turn, right? Okay? Here got more turns of what? Coin here less turns. Okay? This one, Number of turns in diagram B more than diagram A. Okay. Second part of the question compare the pattern, right? Okay, pattern we answer like this, you know. You see. The patterns of iron fillings in diagram B are close, very close. And more compact. Yeah, compact means uh, very, very close and more luck, more, more number of circle mean compact. Okay. Patterns of iron filling in diagram P is close, but this one very close. This one are not that close. Huh? This is very, very close. And also more compact than A. Okay. Yeah. So this one, the iron field, the circles are closer. Right? Close and compact. This one is not close, it's far and less compact. Understand? And the last answer, deflection or ammeter are the same now. Okay? Same current here, same current here, the deflection same. Okay?
Thế nào nó? Alright. Now, state the relationship between the strength of magnetic field and the patterns of ion feeling and the number of turn. Okay. Very straightforward lah. You can see the answer na. The relation between the strength of magnetic field and the patterns of ion feeling and the number of turn. So two answer first. The stronger the strength of magnetic field, the closer and more compact the ion feeling. Okay? The stronger the strength of magnetic field, the closer and more compact the ion feeling. First answer. Okay? And second answer. The more the number of tons of coin, the stronger the strength of magnetic field. At this time, you will write about it, you know. The number of turns might come first, you know. The more the number of turns of coin, the stronger the strength of magnetic field. Okay? The more the number of turns of coin, the stronger the strength of... You cannot say the stronger the strength of magnetic field, the more turn. No. The ballet is wrong. You must write, the more the number of turns first, the more the number of turns of coin, the stronger the strength of magnetic field. Right? Okay. Okay, I'll let you see your one. So that you can if you want to copy, you can copy the answer. Uh, today is Che Fu Hao birthday. Ah, uh. <laughs> uh, Che Fu Hao. Che, are you there? Uh? Che, Che Fu Hao. Uh, yes. Are you, are you there? Uh, yes. Happy birthday. Uh. Okay, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Your birthday, right? Uh, yes. uh, okay, happy birthday. Uh, huh? Okay. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Finish it here. Okay. Ah. Uh, I'm going to uh, stop here, lah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay. Today, lah, uh, you you join the class two times in one week, you know, huh? okay, so the second time, the first day one, I'll make it shorter, huh? okay, so, you make sure you get everything, you cannot jot out everything, now mind you refer, you refer to the YouTube, okay, YouTube, uh, you can find the video, copy the answer, huh? okay, huh? right, okay or not, Okay, so I I want to say thank you to everyone. Uh, huh? You follow my lesson second time in this week, right? Okay, uh, you remember, you know, starting from this week onwards, right? Every week, uh, I want to have two lessons with you all, you know? Okay, two lessons. Uh, don't worry, I wouldn't, I wouldn't track so long. Uh, two lessons because I, make, I want to cover back more lessons with you, uh, huh? especially the uh, you all don't go to school, didn't come for tuition, I worry you all, you know. I don't know whether you all got study one or not. Decide I want to slide something like I want to force you to come here uh, to listen to me, to follow the lesson. At least you learn something. Uh. So remember, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, uh, from five. Okay? So one week you will come here two times, you know. Okay? If you really cannot make it, okay, but make sure you follow the YouTube video uh, when study. Whatever paper share to you, you print out the paper, okay, you jot down whatever answer, whatever notes, you jot down in the in the notes slide. You have to print out yourself, the paper, understand? Okay? 
Okay, anyone want to ask any question here? Any question to ask or not? Huh? Jiu Tong, any question to ask? No. No, no question. Huh? Okay, if no question, huh? so I see you again. Okay, see you next week. Huh? Thank you, Thank sir. sir. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Bye -bye. Thank you, you sir. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Okay, bye-bye, bye-bye. Take good care, la, everyone. La. Okay, take good care of yourself. Bye bye. <laughs> Happy birthday, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, yeah. But someone, someone sent a message to me, ma, say this this boy birthday today. Uh, you cannot see, right? But I can see, la. Someone ma, sent me a message. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Hey, so you got extra paper or not? Uh? I don't have printer anyway. <laughs> I got extra paper. How to keep you? I, I, you help me keep it first. Uh. <laughs> no printer. At home, no printer. Lah. Hmm. Now, my lord, at least uh, you, you write down the answer on a piece of paper. Lah. Okay, okay, I try. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye, bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. <laughs>